Hello everyone, welcome back to Captain of My Shed. I'm Captain Mikey. In this episode, we're finally finishing the, uh, the big ash table that I started. I built the top already, and there's a link in the description below to see that episode, if you want to see the top going together. Uh, we finish it up in this episode, and we also get the leg assembly done. It gets delivered to its final home. It looks beautiful in situ. If you're not keen on my videos, but you want to see how the how the table looks, then go to the end of the video. But if you enjoy the building of and seeing how it goes together, then then watch your way. Next video up is going to be opening this a nice haul of wood ready for the great guitar build off 2022. So if you like the guitar building content, there's some to look forward to on the way. Enjoy. On this episode, we're going to clean up the glue lines. Then we're going to be using this humble card scraper or um, also known as a cabinet scraper. So that's the first task. We're going to hit this whole table, find any places where there's a bit of glue residue left and any kind of slight steps in the table, like I said. Flatten it out as best we can, ready for the next step, which will be some sanding. Quite quickly creating a nice bunch of sort of fine shavings with this. Uh, so I've not done too bad a job of sharpening this up uh, this time round. And it's making easy work of these glue lines, so... Time scraper is made pretty light work of that um, make sure all your edges both sides top and bottom are sharpened because not only does that give you four lots of sharp edge but it gets very hot when you're using it particularly long strokes if you're using it a lot it's very hot on your thumbs uh, so at least if you've got sharp edges all over it you can flip it over let one side cool while you use the other one Next step, get a little bit nervous. I've, um, I've got an overhang, you, the rail is overhanging the edge of the table here by 20 mil. And the idea is to cut a 45 degree chamfer off using the track saw. That said, the blade probably won't protrude quite all the way through. So I'll have to finish that off somehow. Um, probably using a flush cut saw and then planing off the edge and we'll see how this cut goes. Oops. Um, right, the cut's gone well. Quite a lot of smoke <laughs> created by that cut though. Um, as you saw, I actually set off the fire alarm, so I've just had all the windows and doors open trying to get the smoke out of the house. Uh, Ash is gonna love me by the time she gets home and realizes that it stinks of a, a workshop. But uh, such is life. I probably will wait now until I build some sawhorse and I've got a nice day and I'll move the whole thing outside to do another cut like that. But it does seem to have worked. As you can see, I haven't got all the way through. So I'm gonna carefully work that through with uh, the cross cut side of this Shokunin Ryoba saw. <laughs> Whew. 
Yeah. That's left a fair bit of material to flatten off, but looks like I'm gonna have to get the plane out. under here but not much at all and what's nice about the cut in this direction I can tie it up really easily with a plane when I turn the table over so same cut other side okay I'm gonna start sanding the top now um, we're gonna go through the grit starting at 80 120 150 then 220 and uh, we'll see what it looks like at 220, but that should be okay. Oh, what are you doing? Come here. I've got my little helpers. You're moving the camera, Heike, doing that. Hilarious as it is. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna mark the table up with a pencil so I know where I've sanded. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. Also, there'll be sound effects of a pogo stick in the background. Just broken this plane out for the first time today, really, in earnest, to cut this uh, chamfer nice and smooth. And my God, it's smooth. It is, I mean, there's no sanding needed on that. And it means I have to sand everything else to about a thousand grit to get close. Beautiful, really nice piece of kit, this, the Stanley Sweetheart. Lovely stuff. Anyway, keep going. <laughs>
can see that we've got a little bit of work left to do on the top and uh, I need to cut the two leaves off the end. Today though, we're gonna start cut, cutting the leg assembly to the final length and we might even start cutting the joinery. I'm certainly gonna design the joinery. I have a good idea in my mind of what I wanna do. down one more to go took quite a long time to get here so uh, fingers crossed the next one goes a little bit quicker <laughs>
messed up. It's not the end of the world, it's fixable. Cut this little recess in here. I knocked up these jigs that fit over the top of the, um, over the top of the piece like that. And somehow, I'm not sure how, I've messed it up. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see the difference on camera. Oh, you can. If you look at how close that corner is to the edge versus that corner to the edge, there's a centimetre in it. I could just leave it as that. <clears throat> I doubt once the table's put together, anybody but me would notice. But I would notice. And uh, yeah, that's not good enough. So as I've got an off cut here, the grain is similar to the grain that's missing. I'm going to cut this into that shape, glue it in place, shave it back, shave it flush, and then remake the jig and recut that recess. It's going to cost me in time, but I think once it's done, you definitely won't be able to see it because that's on the inside of the table and it's behind a join. So, and in terms of strength, it uh, it should remain just as strong as it is, as, as it was ever going to be. So, um, yeah. Hate mistakes, but they do happen. You just got to figure out how to get around them and, uh, and have a plan. And at least I have a plan. So that's what's going to happen next. <laughs> Panic over. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a blunder, but got a decent fix on the two of them. You can see it, but this is going to be underneath and facing into the table. You're never going to look at it. And it's also going to be covered in large part by the end of the rail that comes in here. Much of it, in fact, is going to be cut away uh, when I reroute those, um, those recesses. So... Uh, Strength wise, rock solid, rock solid fix. We can carry on. Let's go. So this lovely long piece of ash that you see me working on now um, <clears throat> is going to be the bottom rail that holds the two ends apart or together, whichever way you want to look at it. It's really, you can see the grain is, is beautifully quarter sawn, which is going to give it a bit of rigidity that way. Because it's quite a long piece, I want it to be as stable as possible um, so it doesn't sag over time. And I think with the dimensions of this, and the fact it's quarter sawn like that, we should be, we should be okay on that front. And again, I'm going to go with a split tenon, but this time I'm going to do a double tenon. So that's going to look really nice. It's going to be a nice focal point from the end of the table. <laughs> Thank you. 
see behind me, we're not far off assembling this thing and that's what I'm gonna do next is a drive fit to make sure all the joinery is going together uh, nicely. Um, I haven't got any really long clamps, so I'm gonna use just these sort of medium juicy ratchet straps to help close up all the little gaps at the, right at the end. And I can tell you, I, this is the very first time I've put it together. I promise, I haven't spent hours this morning at all whittling away at the joinery, making sure it's absolutely dead nuts. I haven't done that. And if you believe that, you believe anything. Anyway, hopefully this time that I show you on video, it goes together nicely and I'll be able to take it from there and we'll be on track. Fingers crossed. Right, enjoy. see if all four feet are looking level and uh, there's a little bit of tweaking to do on the joint over here it's got a, a gap I'm not quite happy with but so apart from that <coughs> that's gone pretty damn well happy days <laughs> Yeah, we've got a slight problem that I'm trying very hard to rectify. I'll put this on as a straight edge. You can see we've got a gap here. It's about eight millimeters. And I'm confident that this is not gonna move much further either. I think that because when I was cutting the wood, there was no big spring out or anything like that. It behaved like fairly uniformly dry stable wood that said obviously it's not perfectly stable because of this it hasn't moved much in the last a month i would say it's been in the house probably for five months or so on top of the table here in central heating and this is what's happened i've tried to let it let it rest and sit the, like i say the rest of the table is beautifully flat but down this plane i've got this we'd call it a cup I've cut these channels in for some steel C channel to sit in and that will help to hold it straight. Um, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough. So the plan now is to do some relief cuts on the underside. Uh, basically take out a 
thin piece of material so that we can close the gap up and so that the steel supports that I'm about to put in will have a little bit more effect. Okay, I've made some of these doohickeys. They're designed to screw onto the underside of the table and hook into the, uh, the side rails and end rails. They look quite lovely actually, look at the grain on those. So um, yeah, that's the next job, to fix the top to the legs and we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it as always. And uh, if you did like watching this build, by all means, click that like button and subscribe as well. That would be awesome. We've come to the end of this. It's been quite an epic journey for various reasons. The table itself is an epic piece. It is looking beautiful in situ. And we'll go to some shots of it in a minute in its final home. Uh, looking fantastic. And uh, I'm really pleased with it and luckily so is the customer. So happy days all round. I'm gonna go and get some lunch, enjoy some shots of this table and I'll see you on the next one.